favorite moment during a total solar eclipse is the instant totality starts. The sun becomes a black disk in the sky surrounded by a glowing halo of light, the solar corona. Now the interesting thing about the corona is that it's made of ionized gas and its glow is controlled in its shape by the magnetic field of the sun. The sun is a magnet. The sun also spits out charged particles that travel all the way to the earth as the solar wind. Now the thing is, the earth is also a magnet. And when that solar wind arrives at the earth, the charged particles from the sun interact with the earth's magnetic field. The earth's magnetic field was really studied in 1600 by William Gilbert in England. And what he did was he made a small magnetic model of the earth. He called it a Torella. I'm gonna to make one by taking a neodymium magnet and putting it inside a foam model of the earth. Then what William Gilbert did was he sprinkled iron filings onto that earth globe. I've done the same here with used staples. And you can see they stand up vertically at the north pole of the earth and they lie down flat at the equator. Now the sun's solar wind interacts with the Earth's magnetic field and creates the aurora around the poles of the Earth, the glowing aurora. What you see here is a large ball representing the sun. And that ball will give off electric charges that move invisibly through the partial vacuum inside this exhibit. As those charges come towards the Earth globe over here, that is a magnet, they're directed to the north and south polar regions where they make a glowing oval called the auroral oval. Right now, NASA is studying the invisible path of charged particles around the Earth controlled by the Earth's magnetosphere in a mission called MMS, Magnetospheric Multiscale Mission. They have four satellites flying in formation, measuring the Earth's magnetic field that creates the auroral glow at the North and South Poles. Your view of the sun and the solar corona during the eclipse should help you to think of the magnetic fields around the sun and around the Earth interconnected by flowing charged particles.